What do you do when you find yourself in Paris but you've only got 24 hours until your flight home leaves? Well, if you've got a pair of running shoes in your suitcase, then you might be sorted. This happened to me a few weeks ago, so I decided to head out and see how many of TripAdvisor's five-star attractions I could see in one 10k run. Oh, and I also had cameraman Tom with me. Oh yeah. You might see him pop up. So I'm starting off here, which might look like a pretty ordinary street, but I found this online and it looks pretty cool. So let's go find it. It's a staircase, which takes you to the Paris High Line. I'm so excited. Oh, wait till you see this. Look how cool. So this is stop number one. I mean, I think I should just stop here because I've nailed it. <laughs> of course, there are some key Paris high points coming up. And also, I've got two things along this route that I am so excited to go and do. So stay tuned for that because I think I might have found the best thing in Paris and it is food related. So if I have, happy days. Nothing beats a bit of uh, running procrastination, like looking at some artwork. So the next stop is a very famous museum. It's the Louvre. Let's go find it. Just come down onto the river, heading towards the Louvre. And this, I think, is literally another incredible path for runners. There's literally just cyclists and runners going along this path. Then you've got the road up here and the river here. I spy another best rated. Here, it's Notre Dame. You can still see it's got some scaffolding on it, but that's pretty cool. That is also one of the best rated places in Paris, despite still being under construction. And it's actually on its own little kind of island that you can only get to by bridges. I'm not going to stop off there on my run today, but if you wanted to run around an island on your run, that's a pretty cool place to go. Right now, we've come up off the river and we're going to go in and Tom has no idea where he is at any point, but we're going to the Louvre, which... Is that that? Well, kind of. So it's the biggest art museum and is the best rated art museum in Paris. But let's go, let's go. <laughs> so as I was saying, the Louvre, pretty cool place. It's got the Mona Lisa in it and also pretty cool. It's got the 1830 painting, Liberty Leading the People, which you might recognise from the Coldplay album, Viva La Vida. How does that song go, Tom? Dun, 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 Right, Louvre done. Sarah, are you not going to tell me what happened at the Louvre? What do you mean, what happened at the Louvre? You know, the incident, the pineapple guy, the mismatch. Oh, pineapple. right, sorry, where you messed up at the Louvre? That's not what happened. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do the video. So we got to the Louvre, had a good jolly around there, did a bit of filming, turned the corner, Art de Triomphe. Right there, bam, in front of our faces. Then we saw a pineapple guy, right? Whoa, 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 let's take it back there. Was it the Art de Triomphe? Looked like the Art de Triomphe. Did you spend 10 minutes trying to convince me it was the Art de Triomphe? Did it work? Yeah, it did work. I spent hours researching this route. What actually was it? The Art de Triomphe de Carousel. I mean, come on, it's pretty stupid that it's called the same thing. But also, if you look at the scale of the carousel versus the actual Art de Triomphe, and the fact that the actual Art de Triomphe is a roundabout, and that was just in the middle of a path, Anyway, anyway, yeah. tell me about Pineapple Guy. Right, so we were there the day before Paris Marathon and we met this incredible runner who runs with a pineapple on his head and he runs with the pineapple to show to kids how you should be grounded and have good values. Absolutely incredible. I don't know how he ran 26.2 miles with it on his head, but he does it quite a lot apparently. I can tell you how. Yeah. Did the pineapple shuffle. I learned loads of toilet facts. So this is the prettiest toilet in Paris. It's actually shared, so it's male and female going at the same time, but there are separate entrances. Um, but loads of toilets are actually free in Paris. So if you are caught short on the run, then you've got lots of options, including ones that are just on the street. They're not the nicest, but there's an option, right? Uh, do you need to be right now though? Yeah, I'm really desperate. I'm really desperate. I'm trying to d think not of running water. Don't make the noise. Unfortunately for me, when we turned up to the Madeleine Church, it, it was closed, it was under construction. However, insert picture of what it would have looked like, pretty cool toilet. 
I don't need to cross the road right now, but this is the most iconic road in the world. One of the most iconic roads. So I feel like it would be rude not to cross over it and kind of get the view from the middle because there are like, there are these little kind of several crossings all the way down and um, you can just see people in the middle trying to take photos of stuff. Look at this. Kind of shows you how long the road is. Oh, and here's Tom. Hello. Hello. Look at that. It's a pretty big uh, central roundabout. So, uh, Statue, isn't it? This is the real one, is it? Yeah, this is. So this is the uh, the actual one, which is you know only only marginally bigger than the other one. I'm sure we can do a side by side comparison here of the actual Arc de Triomphe versus the Arc de Triomphe de Carousel. You know what? It's your right, mate. It's your first time in Paris. Who's to know? Right. So in here is the best rated croissant in the whole of Paris, according to my sources. In fact, one review even said it was the best croissant you will probably get in Paris. So um, I'm not going to take them for their word. Let's go see. Can we get a cookie as well? Chocolate flan, normal flan, tart. It's all the flan. Something. All the flan. <laughs> I've got the goods. I haven't even smelled it yet. Oh my gosh, Shay. Oh my It is buttery. Actually, you know what? Going for With it. a croissant, you've got to be messy, haven't you? Is that good? Can you describe it to me right now? Um, right now? Right now. It's like so buttery, but also so crispy. And it doesn't taste plain. I usually always want to put butter on a croissant. Oh my God, all the pigeons have come here. <laughs> so is a quick snap right before finish of the run? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily recommend a croissant mid run all of the time, but we've been out for quite a long time now. And uh, this is very much needed. <laughs> come out for the last little bit of my run and I'm running along with the Eiffel Tower in the background what an incredible place to finish and there we go that is the end of my run now if you're being really clever about it you could go up the 704 steps I think it is up the Eiffel Tower a little bit of a hill climb to end your day I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna watch because my legs are feeling this workout but it's been absolutely incredible. I've had a great day bumbling around Paris. Run all done and what an incredible day running around Paris. I honestly have had a blast despite the things that went wrong. It was still an incredible run and I'm glad I've got the photos to keep as well. Are there any other places in the world that you want us to go and run around? Or have you ever run around the best top rated places in a city? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. I think I fancy going to some more top rated cafes next time. <laughs>